I'm talking day trading with Anne Marie Bam. Anne Marie, nice to see you. Thank you for having me. What's your day trading strategy? Well, um, I stay with the same basket of stocks, so I don't have to constantly search. How many in that basket? Anywhere from 50 to 100, depending on how their cycles are running. Right. Right. And I'll have uh, alerts set up to look at those special events, maybe coming into the 50-day moving average or uh, the 200 or something like that, that will alert me to the specific trend. Right, because I am a trend trader and I'm a momentum trader. And so I'll do that, but I'm very simplistic in my approach. I use two technical indicators. I use Bollinger Bands and moving averages. And on just top of that- Just those two? Well, I use the Fibonacci's okay. on top of that. But yeah, just those two. And I look for where the heavies are sitting and the steeper the slope. I know the more acceleration that I have. And so I'm ready to jump on that ride. and. Um, like someone I know, ju I just heard say, when you're looking short, you're looking for the little kid in the corner of the room that always gets beat up. So you're going to watch for that acceleration really steepening, and you're going to go short there. So that's really the simple uh, framework for what I use as a day trader. I'm just looking for direction, and I'm looking for the heavies so that I might... Um, follow the crowd instead of standing out on my own. Do all three, the Bollinger Bands, the moving averages, and the Fibonacci levels have to uh, give you confirmation before you jump in, or are you willing to, say, take two out of three? Good question. Sometimes they will contradict each other, yes. so you have to make a, a decision at that point. But what I try to do is Make sure it's coming into an important level. Price is the most important thing. And I'm one of the, I think not a whole lot of people do this, but I count every single price. It doesn't matter if it went at 10 shares or if it went at 10,000 shares. If it printed $50.03, it's on my chart. So I have all the data that I use. And so when I take a look at that price, that's how my Fibonacci's are drawn. And when it comes into that price, then I look and say, all right, does it have support? Are my moving averages beneath mm -hmm. to cradle? Mm -hmm. If I'm looking to short, is there resistance? Is there a cover over the top that's acting like concrete? And if it's like that, then I'll just make sure that my Bollinger Bands are not saying, hey, we've got uh, inflection ahead and then I'll get in. But it's, it's most price first, then I want to watch to see if it's being cradled, and then I want to make sure that the Bollinger Bands are not saying, hey, it's time to reverse. Uh, what about those times that you're sitting on the sidelines and not invested? What do you do then? Oh, wow, I'm studying about what to invest in next. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what to buy next? Okay. Yeah. Anne-Marie, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me. My guest has been Anne-Marie Band. You're watching TheMoneyShow.com Video Network.